I'm Todd Neal with MedPage Today, and I'm at the Obesity Society meeting in Orlando. Physical activity levels around the world are low, and the presence of dependent children in the home has been proposed as a contributing factor. To explore the issue, Dr. Christy Adamo of the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario Research Institute and colleagues looked at data from the Canadian Health Measures Survey, the Canadian equivalent of NHANES. So in the Canadian Health Measures Survey, they take a direct me measure of physical activity. They do that using an accelerometer. So we know that most of the literature right now in this area uses self-report. So we knew it would be we would have a, string, a strong study design looking at directly measured physical activity levels. So using the Canadian Health Measures Survey and all of the people between the ages of 20 and 65 who had valid accelerometer data, we looked at those with and without children and we compared does having a child in general affect physical activity levels? Does having more than one child affect physical activity levels? And does having a child less than six a child between the ages of 6 and 11, or a child uh, 12 to 17. So does that affect physical activity levels of parents? So uh, what we found was that it was not simply having children that affected physical activity levels. It wasn't the number of children that affected physical activity levels, but it was actually the age of the child that had the greatest influence or was the gr greatest contributor to physical activity levels. Specifically in women, it was having a child less than six years of age that was a strong contributing factor to lowered physical activity levels compared to those without children. In men, it seemed that the age of uh, the critical age or the age of greatest impact was having a dependent child six to 11 in the home. Adamo said the findings can likely be explained by gender roles in society. There's some expectation over who would be the primary caregiver in the first years of, of a child's life versus in the later years. So I think that in the first um, few years of a, a mother's life particularly, she spends a lot of time doing care duties with the child. Uh, she may be breastfeeding, which means that she's sort of tied to the child uh, more closely than the father would be. And I think that has part, uh, is, is partly to, I wouldn't say to blame, but might be uh, related. And uh, I also think that there's, and the literature does suggest this as well, that um, women have um, more reservations about leaving their child with somebody. So they, they particularly in the first few years, they, they want to be around their child quite often. They're hesitant and nervous about leaving, leaving their child with, uh, with another individual, particularly a stranger. So they have less leisure time available than for their own physical activity. Whereas males, uh, the literature suggests that that's not quite, uh, quite as impactful. Adamo said making it as easy as possible for new mothers in particular to re-engage in a physically active lifestyle after giving birth could help alleviate the issues found in the study. So that might be having uh, daycare available at fitness facilities if possible, um, making communities more family friendly so that women can, uh, can walk on a regular basis and feel safe doing so with their children or, or ride their bike, etc. And uh, I really feel that there needs to be a community shift towards uh, encouraging phys physical activity and healthy behavior in general and so that uh, it is the norm rather than an exception. From Orlando, I'm Todd Neal, MedPage Today.